name is Joseph O'Leary. I'm a senior researcher at Full Facts. I lead on our crime and immigration research and also our graphs work. Um, and I'm here today on Wikipedia, the, uh, the editathon, and it's been thoroughly entertaining. It's, it's basically, it's like a way of uh, translating all the hard work that you do every day into something that's lasting and that hundreds of thousands of people will see. Um, actually, it's surprising when you go on some of the pages on Wikipedia how much kind of better they could be with slightly better sourcing and more better explanation and just just more detail and more context. Um, and we've been doing all sorts of that today, and especially the graphs actually. There's a lot of work that can be done with graphs and stuff just to make everything communicated much better. Um, and yeah, just the feeling after you've done it is like, I just changed the internet and that was really easy. How to make bad charts and send simple rules. We published this a few years ago. It was our roundup of basically everything that you can do wrong in a chart. And if any of you find yourselves doing it, please don't. So we found this once on a time in an election leaflet. Um, it was... <laughs> Shall I just let you watch and say no more? Um, this is funding for the UK rebate. It's not only out of date, but you may notice they've decided to use a three-dimensional approach. This is very rarely a good idea. Now, this graph is not only hard work, but there's way too much information. And you have to ask yourself, why was a pie chart the best idea here? This was from the department of, um, I think this was the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, uh, who decided that it would be a good idea to cram as much data as possible into one chart. Again, we have the three-dimensional pie chart. That's actually not the entire problem with this. Um, they don't add up to 100. So, <laughs> um, this was a fascinating example of almost everything you can do wrong with a pie chart in one chart. Full Fact is an independent fact-checking charity. Um, we look at the claims that politicians in the media are making and we see if they stack up, basically. And if they don't, we get a correction, and if they do, we say, it's all good. Um, today, we are running an editathon, specifically around the EU referendum. Um, a lot of people will be going to Wikipedia to get information um, for the vote coming up June 23rd, and we wanted to make sure that they're getting good, robust information. This is our first editathon, but it's been really, really great. And actually, there is a lot of pages. There are a lot of pages that I feel like we've added a lot of value to today, and I feel really confident that they will help people coming up to referendum day. So I just really like everyone again. I think what's really powerful about both Wikipedia's philosophy and Full Facts is that it's not about taking either of our, either of our words, words for it. So when you read a Wikipedia article, you could just take it at face value, but actually what Wikipedia will aim to do is reference everything that it says. Wikipedia is not meant to be adding new original research into the field, it's meant to be uh, bringing together, collating everything into one place. Um, so I think it's a really powerful signposting tool, and it's something that we at Full Fact try to do as well. So we, we basically say to readers, here's a service for you. Here's everything brought together in uh, as simple and understandable a way as we can manage. And if you don't believe us, here are our sources, here are our links. Go for yourself, replicate what you've done, and then make your own mind up. So first of all, we have very closely aligned values in terms of wanting all of the information on our website to be neutral. Second of all, Full Facts has got a lot of knowledge and expertise about sources of data, about things like the EU referendum, which are coming up soon. So obviously thousands of people are reading the pages that we're editing today, every week, every month. And we're hoping that with our expertise in sources and our knowledge that's stored inside of our researchers' heads and on our website, we can improve the pages that all these people are reading when they're trying to work out how to vote on the 23rd of June. So we see fact as a movement, not only just in the UK but all over the world, there's been a huge growth in organisations that do fact checking. And so it's really great for us to be able to get out of our office and involve people and train people in the methods that we use.
Um, and then, yeah, the second thing is just the huge reach that Wikipedia itself has. Um, so, for example, it probably gets you know, over 10 times the hits that we get on our most popular articles. So it makes a lot of sense for us to transfer the information that's on there and, you know, the, source, the primary sources that we've been using onto Wikipedia, where there are way more people ready to absorb information. I, I mean, I, I don't agree with any snobbishness about Wikipedia in, in the sense that I think as long as you see it for what it is, which is not a primary source but a helping hand along the way, then it's incredibly useful. And I think the educational value is interesting in the sense that the way you can go and view the history of an article, the history of people's edits to it, I think tells you a lot about um, the nature of facts and the nature of uh, sources and truth because people can go and look at those battles people have been having like one person wants to say this and someone else thinks no that's not quite impartial enough so I'm going to reword it like this and some people think it should be taken out altogether I mean ultimately the idea is to get the best available version of the facts in one place but people don't always agree on what they are so I think it's it's got a huge potential if it were brought into, say, you know, education classes to just say, well, this is the uh, the lifespan of a Wikipedia article. What do you think of it? Would you change anything? You know, I think yeah, huge potential.